Tech, and we're just about to talk about an interesting topic. We've had a whole, it's like we've already had this interview behind the scenes, so hopefully we'll extend the same, same conversation online. Not online, live on TV as well. And uh, we're being joined live in studio by Anthony Miner, who is the CEO and co-founder of Food Cloud Kenya. This is a company that helps you to actually get insights as well as give you information on how to avoid food wasted. And I love the fact on his fly, he says, food waste hurts our planet. And so help him to fight uh, food waste. And, and just a little bit of insight about, you know, uh, the advocacy or his passion about um, food conservation and avoiding food waste. He says, according to Food Agriculture Association, that is FAO, 1.3 billion tons of food waste is annually wasted. One in every people go to bed hungry and over 20,000 children under age die of starvation. Even right now in our country, there's uh, areas that are facing severe hunger strike and a lot of people are dying and it's only right that we have this conversation about food wastage. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Anthony. Uh, good morning, Brian. Welcome to Why in the Morning. I appreciate it. Right. You are so passionate. Wow. <laughs> It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. <laughs> but uh, uh, I'd really like you to just give us a brief overview of uh, uh, your company and how you came up with the name of the company, Food, uh, it's Food? Food Cloud, cloud. Kenya. Food yeah, cloud Kenya. Food Cloud, not Food Plus. Yeah. <laughs> just to be You're confusing with uh, Food Plus. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> a brief overview of how you came about it and uh, what inspired you as well. Uh, let me just give a little background of, of whom I am and uh, my motivation behind Food Crowd. I'm Anthony Maina, uh, background in sales and marketing, with seven years experience uh, serving different organizations. Uh, before starting Food Crowd, I was serving as a B2B sales manager, Bradmark Safety Group Limited. Oh, and uh, one of the things that most part, uh, inspired me to start Food Crowd, I remember we used to go to those dinners and, uh, and those factions. Eh? And uh, I would notice that uh, sometimes I can remember way back in 2020, we went for this buffet at Eaton Hotel. Uh, we had an event uh, for we, where we expected 100 guests, 60% uh, guests showed up. Right. Uh, so the remaining food was thrown away in short. Yeah, so the remaining food for 40%. Eh? Okay, we were with my folding partner, Food Kado, Kademi Mokui. Mm -hmm. So we sat down and, uh, and thought, huh? right. Wh what if we come up with a system uh, mm -hmm. that can help uh, these people in food industry okay. redistribute this food instead of wastage. Mm -hmm. uh, like now, next year, uh, the year that followed, 2021, uh, 2022, we went ahead and registered food crowd, uh -huh. and the rest is history. The rest is history, and here you are advocating and here for I am advocating for food, uh, ad advocating for food security. Right. Yes. All right, uh, I'm really like, uh, I'm so interested to know like, who are your target market and, 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 and like the people you target specifically in terms of spreading awareness when it comes to, you know, food wastage. Mm -hmm. Who are the specific uh, people that you target? I'm targeting the general pu public, though my focus uh, is on the youth because due to uh, uh, the, 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 the way information is spreading, you, using youth, eh, it's very easy even for right. advo advocating right. online. Uh -huh. Yes. Is, is it because young people are ignorant? And so, like, uh, I remember before we came, we came on, we were talking about, you know, how people shop, mm -hmm. or, or also supermarkets stock mm -hmm. a lot of food, mm -hmm. and uh, if they reach the expiry date, like, it's automatic, they'll throw that mm -hmm. expired bread, whatever, mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. How can we actually spread awareness? And also, how can we recycle wasted food and ensure that, you know, it doesn't just go to waste, like, tons, tons of food is being thrown away that costs a lot. Mm -hmm. And as well as, you, we, mo we also mentioned, there's mm -hmm. a way that it contributes to climate change and the global warming. Maybe I can, I can first expound on that. Huh? Yeah. Uh, food waste uh, contribute to 10% of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. Okay. Well, what basically happens, eh? Uh, when you throw away one kg of food, eh, when that food decomposes, it releases three kg of three, three kg uh, three, three kg kilogram of methane. Mm, yes. uh -huh. What normally happens when this air is released into the atmosphere, uh, it traps more heat from the uh, from the sun, and that's one of causes of global warming. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. So th that's actually how it happens. Just that that, ha that, that, that the background of it. 
All right. Mm. But now so let's, let's come to food <laughs> wasting, food being thrown away in bulk mm -hmm. that has already expired. How can we ensure that we don't throw away the food but, you know, divert it into another different product? Yeah. What, what you can basically do or what happens mostly in developed countries, uh, this food is mostly uh, redistributed to people with food, bank, uh, food banks and charity foundations. And we're also working on such initiatives as food instead of wasting. Right. Also, the food that actually gets wasted before the distribution can also be used to, uh, in manufacture of animal feeds. Right. Yes. So in short, uh, you can get, for example, like bread you mentioned, they dry it and uh, they do something different with it. Yeah, yes, it, it's, also, it's also used in uh, making uh, animal feed even for, uh, even for fish. Yeah. You have something called Azola, mm -hmm. and you, 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 you can make it uh, through uh, food remains. Right. Yes. Now, what happens to like fast food? Let's let, let's say may, maybe like organic and inorganic food stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, like uh, let's let's say all this sweet juicy. They call them finger licking, mm -hmm. you know, uh, juicy food stuff, mouth watering food stuffs. Mm -hmm. What happens to them now, as compared to like, for example, farmers who grow cabbage in Africa to a place in Anza Kurot, you it will be recycled, like you say. You can dry it. It can even be manure. But now, what happens to inorganic ones? Uh, what normally happens, eh, as I was telling you, through our site, eh, Food Crowd Kenya, right. uh, we are, uh, for those we have partnered with, eh, the farmers and other distributors, we are able to distribute at reduced prices. Let's say maybe a cabbage is doing at 30. Right. Uh, we can do it at 15 instead of wasting. Right. Yes, and people can, uh, through, our, through our site, are able to browse, see, see what the offers that we have, then they, they order and we deliver. Right. Yes, instead of wasting. Instead of wasting yes. and throwing away. Same uh, happened to those food from what food joint. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, yes. Hotels specif specifically. Yes. And same same strategy. Yeah. Yes. But now, uh, when it comes to the market, of course, there's there's those people that you go to shopping bulk. Mm -hmm. um, to, um, to hey, I want to shop food here yeah, two three weeks. Mm -hmm. But then it just happens that you know that food expires within even a half in, in the middle of the week. Okay. How can they get these insights that you know you can shop in small amounts? and still be able to consume all of that food, like just budget for your food. Mm -hmm. How can you give them awareness so that they can also even plug into food cloud as well? Uh, how basically we, we, you can work, you can hook up with us. Mm -hmm. uh, we we'll be distributing that food to food bank and the needy instead oh, they of wasting. Like they can you, you come to, to donate, yes. like to donate yes. food to you. Yes, right. yes. So we, we, we deliver to the needy. Yeah. Oh, you, you deliver to native people. And how does people. that happen? Like, do you have a truck? Do you have people you work with? Oh, we have, we have trucks and a team that's also, also doing that. With right. us. Yes. So, but how does someone know that, you know, you guys are doing that so that they can reach out to you? Maybe a social media, a number, an uh, email? Uh, probably they can visit at our office, Kikuyu Getaro, or uh -huh. reach us directory. They can call me directory. Uh, I can give them my number. 0728-225-125. Right. Uh, let, let, let me let me let me re re read uh, on your on your flyer. There's a place you say. Uh, you also have an app, by the way. Yes, uh, it, it's yeah. available on. Play store, but it had some issue. But we are working on it. We are reviving it. Right. Yes. I'm I'm really interested about this point here. Point number three that says, ironically, amount of food lost or wasted costs around 2.6 trillion U.S. Yes. dollars and is more than enough to feed 815 million hungry people in the world four times over. This is massive. It's possible because as, right. you, as, you, as you are reading that fire, you find we are wasting 1.3 billion food. That's right. in Kenya or worldwide? Globally. Or globally. Uh, mm. The ironical part of it, eh? 800 million people globally has no food. Mm. We, just, we just need to save just 25% of that, uh, that 1.3 billion tons of food. Mm -hmm. It is enough to feed those 800 million starving people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, how can people like be aware of this, and 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 how important is it to actually do that? Uh, we are working on it online. Mm -hmm. We also have a uh, brand ambassadors for that. Okay. Yes. So, so very soon. Uh, but you mentioned you've been nominated for. for yes, something uh, as well. we have been nominated mm -hmm. for the startup of the year award. Right. Yes. Which is fantastic. Yes. Now. Um, I was trying to look at your flyer mm -hmm. uh, where you have a bear. It's floating on a, 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 a spoiled bread. I yes. believe it's bread that's rotting. But then this bread is in the middle of the sea. Yes. 
Yeah, I, I just want you to talk about that and, and how it means to you. Well, what environment normally happens, food waste, eh? you know, so, uh, food waste uh, really affects our biodiversity. However, it's fish, however, it's uh, those animals, you know, it ends up in the radio feed in the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, it affects even the living object in the, in the ocean. Right. Yes. You realize also, uh, I think it was last week when I saw in the news outlet, they were talking about cleaning the beaches. <laughs> beaches with B-E. Mm -hmm. Yeah, C not B-I. <laughs> yeah. B -E mm -hmm. yeah, they're talking about cleaning all the beaches to ensure that, you know, the seas are, are pure and clean to just ensure that it supports aquatic life. It means that a lot of waste, especially food waste, and this also includes plastics. Yeah, even plastics. End up, end up uh, at the sea. Yes. Which affects aquatic life. Do yes. you feel like in terms of uh, even global warming as well as, uh, uh, let's say, uh, th there's places like floods are prone to it, mm -hmm. and there's places like are completely dry. Do you think that this can help to ensure that we have a balanced weather system? Uh, yes, because what's happening, eh? Uh, also, when it comes to issues of flooding, eh, uh, we have said that food, crowd, uh, uh, food waste contribute to global warming. No. Uh, because in some areas, let's say maybe in those areas that have high precipitations, when there is too much temperature, uh, there will be a lot of evap evaporation. Let's say there will be a lot of evaporation, and when happens, uh, when there happen to be a lot of evaporation, so what no. will happen? Mm -hmm. There will be too much rain in some areas. Automatically, flooding happens. Right. In other areas, it will be dry. Right. Yes. Which I feel like is a very important, you know, awareness that we need to have. Now, for example, if you are to actually pitch mm -hmm. your idea, you said you want to meet the president someday. Yes, yes. Uh, if you were to pitch your idea to him, like how, how would you pitch it? Uh, wh wh why, why would it be so important for like the president and the government to plug in and mm -hmm. support you? Mm -hmm. you know? uh, pushing for policies eh? mm -hmm. and uh, formulation of a regulatory framework mm -hmm. that will guide those in food industry in this fight, right? Yes, you had mentioned China, China, and we uh, you mentioned China, and also I said Japan. Oh, they and have Japan like, uh, fo f food policy programs that allow people not to waste food, and you said it's a crime. It's, to a, cr it's, a, it's a crime to throw uh, food in, in China, China and Japan. Right. So we need similar kind of policies in Kenya. Right. But instead of wasting, maybe if you have a, a hotel industry, no, uh, think of a way, maybe donating maybe to food car or, the, or, or to food uh, to, to those food bank or the needy instead of wasting. And through that, you're able to fight climate change and food, uh, you'll be able to fi fight food waste and climate change. We need similar kind of policies. Right. Yes. Do, you, do, you, do you have like maybe specific policies? Like maybe you, you can try to formulate yours because you're already working <laughs> with the food plant. <laughs> uh -huh. That you, you'd say number one, if you're found doing et cetera with food, then the consequences are this and that. What uh, uh, one of the policies, uh, like, like, like we can have it like this, when, when you are throw, throwing, when you are found maybe throwing food, maybe we c you, c you can be penalized. Maybe you can maybe pay a certain amount. Eh? Right. Yes. Like some sort of tax. Yes, yeah, some some form of tax. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's talk about hotels. Mm -hmm. uh, hot of course, but like you from your scenario you with your friend, you were at Hilton. Yes. And then the food was for 100 people, 60 percent. Oh, 60 sure. turned up. Uh, si but 60, 60 people turned up. Uh, 60 people turned up, and the rest 40 was. You said you were sure it was thrown away. It was thrown away. Mm. Now, how can we how can we help hotels to work in a budget? Because, like you said, if 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 you are trying to actually come or come to this niche and fill the gap and bring a solution to it, mm -hmm. this means you'll have to go on ground and speak to the people in the industrialization, mm -hmm. in the hotel industry, mm -hmm. that is hospital mm -hmm. hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. How can they be aware that if you have to budget for like, let's say, for a day you are serving two hundred clients mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. one hundred and fifty or maybe even more, mm -hmm. how can you help them budget so that? The rest of the food of the food is not thrown away. We had mentioned you said that it's not possible, like for food, yeah, a hundred people. If sixty turned up, the forty can be served to another person. It's not possible. Definitely, it's gonna go to waste. Mm -hmm. How can you help them? Uh, uh, we can work on. Eh? Uh, there's something we are working on uh, within our, our uh, food crowd system, uh, whereby we, we uh, you can use point of zero data to predict. Eh? If let's say maybe you uh, you cooked maybe uh, use use this amount tomorrow. You can maybe reduce it. Eh? There's a way you, you can use the po point of data to predict. Right. Through that, you waste less. Right. So we can partner with these hotels and help them in that. Right. And also distribution in the case maybe there is something they'll be left right. with instead of throwing away. You mentioned that point of sale. That's like some sort of a system. Yes. A data yes. system or a processing system used in companies. It's a, it's a system that's used in most hotels. Right. Yes. 
Now, uh, let's come back to technology, which is spot on tech. How have you used uh, technology to actually solve this menace? What, in, what normally happens, we have uh, an e-commerce website called Food Cloud Kenya. If you Google, you can see it. Food Cloud Kenya. Or Food Cloud Kenya. What right. normally happens, eh? let's say maybe yeah. you are maybe a supplier or maybe you are a farmer. Right. Uh, uh, you register with us. Uh, once you register with us, eh? customers on the other side are able to see the product that has been reduced on the price. Then they're able to browse, uh, check in, and order. Right. Then ask Food Cloud Deliver. Right. This is like similar to Glovo and the rest? Us is different, eh? uh -huh. because we are distributing products that are about to expire right. and at reduced prices, 60% of original right. prices. But you know, a lot of people would be scared. They'd be like, eh, staki kundu wa in yeah. expire in the afternoon. A lot of people wouldn't actually want to. In fact, nobody wants to buy bread that's expiring the next day. Mkate tender like three, four days, at a uh, week. Uh, but, uh, but, but us, uh, ah. uh, uh, but, but, but us, we are targeting those people who, who, who do small shopping. You get my point, eh? Yeah. You are buying to purchase it maybe in the next moment or the next day. Right. Yes. So this is like middle, middle class or lower? Yes, middle class. Right. Because right. you realize people in the upper class, mm. they, they do like careless shopping. Oh, they have uh, money. Not, 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 not those doing bulk shopping. Uh -huh. Bad shopping. Bad shopping. But you know what, one thing what's happening? In Kenya, there, there's a high cost of living. So in mm. most people, when it was people that I'll save you some coin, automatically people are rushing for that. Right. Yes. Because yeah, if so I tell maybe I'll save you a brand maybe at 40 instead of 60, automatically right. go for that. People are rushing for that. Yeah. Yes. But uh, to realize here, there's those who are scared, like they want to go for food that will take them for a week. Actually, there's that thing like I want to stock food for like a whole month. That no, actually no, no, not friends. unless maybe you are doing bark, sh bark shopping. Bark shopping. Yes. Right. But uh, uh, which is like you say, which is also not a good idea because mm -hmm. you could be buying like bread that's expiring tomorrow and yes. definitely you'll throw it away the following day. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. So you're solving and, and bringing solutions to yes. that. Now, let's talk about uh, the general space in terms of um, sensitizing the youth to this, especially in terms of outreach, like who are the people that you're planning to reach out to in the future? You mentioned the youth, like specifically. Now, let's delve into the situation on ground. Uh, in the future, uh, we'll be having those uh, mobilization campaigns uh, countrywide that will ensure that we're able uh, to reach more people. We also yeah. may, we also uh, planning to partner with some media houses in uh, okay. spreading information. Right. Yes. Well, what about advocacy? Do you have like people who are food advocates? I, I know. I know. Sh I think she was a friend. He was a friend sh to to one of the celebs who was uh, I think on a reality show. He calls himself Food God. Mm -hmm. uh, he's he's a chef though, so he cooks mm -hmm. uh, different types of recipes. He brings mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. So uh, in terms of advocacy, do you have like people advocating for? food preservation, food wastage, or personally you are as well? <laughs> uh, we, we, are, we are recruiting with the time, eh? And mm -hmm. uh, we have somebody that we are working on with on board uh, who is calling herself uh, Zero Waste Chef. Zero? Zero Waste Chef. It's teaching uh -huh. people on what to grow less and make best of what we have. Right. So in future, we also have maybe activists fighting food waste. Right. Yes. It's in the, it's in the pipeline. Oh, it's underway. Yes. It's underway. Nice, which is amazing. Uh, let's talk about uh, health, health f food health in general. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's people who consume a lot of calories mm -hmm. and there's people who consume less calories. Mm -hmm. Now, how can you help a person who consumes a huge amount or who consumes bulk mm -hmm. as compared to a person who just like a medium eater? Mm -hmm. I remember my co said she, mm -hmm. she eats a lot, but she doesn't <laughs> know where that food goes, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so that you also plug in as well. Uh, that's tricky because we're not touching that part, huh? I, 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 I don't have much that's like that. an that's like individual diet dietary plans yes yes all right I, I think you can also plug in I feel <laughs> like it's a good thing so that you help people lose weight mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. or people eat right mm -hmm. uh, you remember even when you go to the gym they'll tell you you have to eat some food stuff mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. proteins balancing proteins with mm -hmm. carbohydrates mm -hmm. vitamins blah mm -hmm. blah 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 I, I, I think eh, uh, what you need to do m most Kenyans don't exercise you don't want maybe to walk Kiramahal, you are just taking over mm. Yes. But, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> at the end of the day, you're trying to, to actually help yourself if you're taking an Uber. Maybe, you Maybe a walk. Eh? Sometimes uh, a walk is good. Right. Yes. For your heart. A walk, uh, yes. Avoiding those junks. Right. Mm. So what are some of the visions that you have for your company as well? Uh, one of the visions that you have in Food Crowd, uh, as, as, I, as I had explained before, mm -hmm. in Kenya, we waste uh, 72 billions 
pana. Aye. We have a vision that in the next five years we will be, we will be able to to have cut this food mm. by 40 percent. Okay. And uh, food crowd will be present in uh, in five countries in Africa. Right. Yes. We want to spread all over. You want to. Uh, in, in terms of like international outreach, uh, are there like specific countries that you love? Because because I feel like your com your conversation, if you had a chance to be on TED, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the the big platform to tell people about mm -hmm. how it's so important to ensure that we preserve. I, I feel like it it fits it fits TED. The CNN. producers are TED or CNN, CNN as well. CNN is yeah, my th TED. There's, there's, a, the, uh, uh, there's a program called African Voices Change Makers, which is being hosted now by Larry. Mm -hmm. If if you had such a platform. Mm -hmm. What would you tell them? Uh, impact of food waste right. and uh, climate change, right. and how we can collaborate in curbing this. Right. Yes. Now uh, let, let's come back here in Kenya. Do you feel like the culture of food wastage is is extended? Like we we've seen we, we've seen our, 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 our parents do it, mm -hmm. or it's a habit. There's people like the like eat your food, finish it, don't eat half and throw the rest away, or preserve it or give it to a neighbor who is starving. That's also helping. I think Kenya is, is like in Kenya it's like a habit. Something that we are used to even when we are growing up. You mm -hmm. Maybe you are, take, you are putting too much that you cannot even finish. Yeah. It's not happening in China or other developed countries. You take right. what you think you can be able to, uh, to finish. Right. I think it's all about maybe the policies that has been enforced. Right. So in Kenya, sometimes maybe we, we enforce policies, it's still going to be a big threat. Right. Yes. Now, what happens to now, like places like high schools, mm -hmm. high schools, uh, especially boarding schools, where the, the food is cooked in huge amounts? Mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, for like, say, borrowing from your example of Hilton, there are like maybe eight hundred students. Mm -hmm. The food was maybe like for a thousand mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it's gonna go to waste. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, th that one can also be redistributed to food banks and uh, charity homes. Uh -huh. Yes, and uh, as we can help in that. Right. Uh, in initially, uh, mm -hmm. let's come back to you now personally. Mm -hmm. Before you become the CEO, because mm -hmm. you're the CEO now. Yes. Uh, like, uh, also, you'll tell us if you've employed people mm -hmm. as well in that company. And if somebody who's watching mm -hmm. might want to come and work with you. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you doing initially that actually brought you to this space? Oh, food crowd. Eh? Mm. Uh, as I had explained before, I was working as a, a B2B sales manager, brand marks if the global, whereby we are fighting counterfeit. Right. Yes. This, this is like one of those companies that uh, on a Chicago or maybe no 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 it's just a, a technology uh, uh, yeah. that help consumers uh, identify genuine and fake product. Oh, so you, you use some sort of like a website machine or as it used to a be scanning. a it used to be a security icon, right. uh, whereby you could you could be able to scan using your mobile phone and check whether a product that you are buying. Let's say maybe it's a mobile phone and check whether it's genuine or fake. Right. Yes, I was having uh, that company. Uh, before we started food card with my partner. Okay, it's like similar to that tech in uh, at the airport where they're able to scan through. Yes, yes, it's it's similar. I don't. I, 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 do you know Sproxil? No, 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 no. I, I'm not really sure. You have not bought seeds. The seeds, seeds for planting. Yes, yes, yes. You have yes. seen that scratchy code where you scratch and send a code. Right. Yeah. It's a similar on kind on of box. technology. Oh. So wow. used to scan when you scan to give you the result. However, whatever the product you are buying is genuine or fake. Okay. So I was having that com is American company, mm -hmm. uh, uh, whereby we had gotten a leadership to run it through Africa. Okay. Yes. Now, tell us about your company. Have you employed people? Can people come and work there? Uh, cu uh, currently, in uh, in brand uh, in food crowd, what we are having is uh, developers mm -hmm. and digital marketers and a advertising yeah. board. Right. Yes. So you guys are closed. You are very tight. It will take more time. You're the CEO, but I give, <laughs> give people jobs. <laughs> uh, we, we'll absorb them more with time. There's too much work upcoming. Right. Yes. Now, in terms of tech, is there like any type of technology that you use to uh, work with, especially when it comes to uh, handling the, 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 you mentioned point of sale. Uh, point of sale. Yeah, which I feel like it's an app even used in supermarkets, right? It's even in supermarket, even to, to be able to predict. Right. Yes. Uh, at your company, what are some of the softwares that you use? Uh, the uh, the, the e-commerce e website. Mm -hmm. Yes. Explain and to us how site. it works. Uh, it's, it's simple. I can uh, uh, explain again. We have two sites. We have the vendor site and the and e-commerce the e website. What normally happens, let's say maybe you're a farmer, 
and maybe you have maybe some cabbages and you want to be uh, redistributing through us whenever you have surplus. You register with us, it's free. When you register, the super admin at my company approve your product. Upon approval of your product, eh, the, uh, the consumer on the other end or the customer, the moment he, he logs in into, into food card website, he's able to see the, to check different product that has been posted. Uh, he compare prices from different uh, suppliers. He, he's able to, to order, then we supply. Right. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, Kenya is, uh, they say back, uh, agriculture is the backbone of our country, right? We're not yet. We, are, we have a long way to go. <laughs> if you cannot feed the starving Kenyans, we are not, right. I, I can't say that you're back in the economy. We have a long way to go. But Juicy, they gave a fertilizer huh? to cushion farmers. Hey, there's so much that needs to be done All in right. the agriculture sector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's so much. There is reduction in productivity. Okay. Yes. Now, for farmers, of course, of course, um, are also Kenya is among the top producers or exporters. Yes, of products like tea, avocados. Right. Yes. Uh, how can we also come in into that space and ensure that it doesn't go to waste? Oh, what normally happens, eh? uh, like those doing uh, avocados, you find in most cases in those export, uh, they don't take those uh, overgrown avocados. So in most cases, you have those what we call the reject. So we're also helping those people, uh, exporters and those packhouse managers, redistribute uh, those, uh, those avoc reject avocados. Right. We have partnered with those people who make avocado oil instead of wasting. Right. So we can also work with them. Also, we have those people who export uh, the, the French bean and other veggies. Right. Uh, we are also partnering with them in distributing all those products that has been directed at the export point. Right. Yes. Now, what happens to like let's say non non consumable products like flowers? Uh, there's a way we are working on them, eh? uh, because e even the flowers have reject and are we able to redistribute them to funeral homes and maybe those who have events. So nothing is going to waste. Nothing is going to waste, yes. basically. So you guys are guns blazing, coming at this. Yes. Journey. Wow, which is fantastic. What else am I forgetting before we exit? What are the, let's say, what are some of the future, future objectives or future um, ambitions that you have for your company that you feel like uh, we should look for and that people can plug in to support you? If maybe you need partners, sponsors, mm -hmm. anyone who can be a part of your initiative to ensure that we avoid food wastage? Uh, maybe if government can plug in, uh, mm -hmm. we work together in formulation of policies, uh, food okay. can, can push for that. All right. Yes. All right, so uh, what, what would you need for people to come and, and, and do if you are partnering with them? Uh, maybe volunteers or food warriors. Volunteers or food warriors. Yes. There's many people who are so passionate about uh, Who are so passionate about food, we work mm -hmm. together. All right. Yes. All right, so you can give them your number, your email, uh, where they can find you, reach out to you, and uh, plug in onto that's your camera. And also the social media platforms. Mm -hmm. And anything that you think I've forgotten to oh. share. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that's your camera. Uh, you can reach us uh, through my number, which is uh, 0728 225 125. You can also drop us an email, foodcrowd87 food crowd, food crowd at gmail.com. And uh, remember to nominate us. We go. Uh, uh, remember to vote us. We got nominated as startup of the year award. Of oh, last year or this year? This year. This year. This year. Yes. And you started with blessings. Yeah. <laughs> it's a blessing. All right. Yes. So, so anything else? Uh, nothing more. All right. Thank you, Anthony Miner. You are the CEO and also co-founder as well. Food Club Kenya. Food Club Kenya, not Food Plus. <laughs> You're confusing. So, so, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. We definitely uh, would love to, when you win another award, please don't forget to pass by and tell I'll us. pass by. Yeah, and mm -hmm. tell us more insights. And as well, if you find bigger people that partner with you, mm -hmm. please always share the insights. Yes, I will, I will, I will. All right, and also say hi to your partner. You said she's. She's, uh, I can say hi. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'll take this opportunity to thank and appreciate my partner, founding partner, Fulker Mokwe Karemi. I don't take anything for granted. Uh, you have been a soldier in this journey, and uh, we are going far together. Let's keep on fighting until we eliminate this problem of food waste globally. Okay. I hope I'm a part of the message. I'm hoping to. Yeah. So, so, thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so, we're going to take a very short break. And then uh, we'll be coming up next with something amazing. You don't want to miss it. At Y244 channel, at Brian Soko 101.